Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you how to use this new sequencer from Count Modular and make some patch with it to understand how it works and what features this one has. Okay, let's start with adding clock. I'm gonna use one from ZZK and let's take plats and let's take Vult, Slap, Avisom, Combined, VCA and Envelope Generator. Okay, here we have um, gate and trick outputs, which is pretty awesome to make connection like this. Then we just connect our plates into the slab and then run this sequencer and choose gate mode here and we get a sound already. Don't forget to connect to reset. So let's make some pattern. And let's add my favorite quantizer, Rewind. And connect output and to 1 volt per octave input. Let's choose a minor scale. And let's randomize to the on. It's pretty high, let's decrease our scale. Let's push octave down a bit. Okay, we also have this sample hall switch. And that way you can get only sound for from gated uh, knobs. In uh, case of trigger you will get the same, but only with trigger outputs. So now this only sound. And it's pretty handy feature to get only needed CV values. And in off position we can get some kind of legato sounds. Okay, let's connect also trigger. And we can vary our patch a bit more with this trigger. Let's add a river. And let's try switch the land. And land has a CV input. For example, I have to add some function from ZDK and then a divider expander. Let's decrease it by 2 and add face and then connect it to CV input. This is pretty fast and I think we need some Offset Antinuator from AS. Here it is. Let's set our offset and let's play with Antinuator a bit. And let's decrease the speed to And this is pretty awesome way to get 
some rhythmic stuff from this awesome sequencer. And the next stuff here is a direction. Forward, back and forth, backward and random. Uh, one shot triggered from reset. Oh, let's try this one. I need some gate sequencer. Oh yeah, from Lomas one. Let's also clock it. Let's add a reset. And let's connect a reset from here. Check here, here. And in that way we can get some pretty awesome minimal stuff. Let's connect a delay as well. You can also manipulate direction by CV. Let's try the same modulation as well. Let's set an offset to one shot. Let's vary it to back and forth and backward, as you can see on these lights. And here is a and end of cycle trigger and we can use it for example for drums let's add a trumor and let's try this one already built some basic stuff and let's see here is an inverted output same as the main output but with minus values so let's copy this plates instance let's try it one volt per octave and let's add triggers also from here, let's connect this slab, also draw it by same gate and put it at our mixer. Oh, here we can get such a harmony stuff. I believe so. need some more reverb let's add a high head And the last uh, direction settings is ADDR. And let's try it to from different instance. Let's also try it from same clock signal and from reset. Let's switch direction to voltage position. 
lens of full. So here is the edit idea, is just offset settings of your starting point. It won't work without a clock, so it switch only with clock. So you will be always in sync. And let's choose some new function for that with 8 divider so in that way you can get some phase driven sequence and let's set another plates and set just trigger to prevent <coughs> Any other connections? Let's pass it through the quantizer. For example, invert output. our kick a bit to so bring more patch into the patch let's add another trummer and let's add a boolean logic module get some hi-hat stuff select main clock output as a gate from ZZK clock let's add here and drive our main hi-hat from here Set another instance of step sequencer to testing something else. I need uh, some baseline, I believe, so I just initialize it. Let's add some faster clock here and decrease length to 5, for example, up only this one. Let's copy plates instance. Let's use um, FM mode. And let's turn trigger on. Let's connect to the sequencer and drive this far from base. I'll let this. Let's 
apply with direction. Set another inverter, initialize it. Let's bring a slow one and let's increase the inverter. set modulation to the base So I should say this is pretty awesome sequencer and it's a kind of great version of famous Bog Audio editor, but with some interesting feature and last thing I forgot to say is an expander. Let's type counts in the search field and add X here and expander. So it just copy uh, trigger behaviors from uh, main sequencer and you can adjust your sequencer a bit to use with same type of sound or for make some sequential switches randomization to make 16 step or 32 step and it's of course chainable thing so it's chained to the right side even uh, make some color coding and lots of fun stuff so you can get this patch on my patreon and thanks for count modular for new set of his plugins it's pretty awesome and see you later guys